in a region between the Sahara Desert, the Mediterranean Sea, and the Nile River. It's ultra soft and breathable, but extremely durable. My Giza sheets also include full 21 inch wide pillowcases. Welcome, welcome, welcome into our first ever Bismarck Bucks Coaches Show. I'm your host, David Sugarman. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you're a Bucks fan, if you're an IFL fan, if you're just a football fan in general, this is going to be the place to be each and every Wednesday evening. We're going to bring you highlights from the Bucks, maybe even a little bit of a look around the IFL, player interviews, features, anything you want, we'll have it right here on Beck, and we are so thrilled to have the IFL finally back in action. And I say finally for a reason. After a 2020 season where Bismarck was only one of four teams to even get a game in, a 50 to 36 loss to the San Diego Strike Force before the season was canceled, of course, due to the coronavirus pandemic. But now, Opening day is just 48 hours away for Bismarck as they travel to Green Bay on Friday to take on the blizzard. Now, for some of you, you might be saying 2019, the last time the Bucks and the rest of the IFL even got a full season. It might not seem like that far away, but I want you to think, really think about all the things that have happened since 2019. Tom Brady won a Super Bowl outside of New England, somewhere a little bit warmer. We all, I know I did, watched, binge watched, and enjoyed the Tiger King series. And of course, most importantly, the reason we're all here today, the Avengers beat Thanos. I say all of that to say a lot has happened and a lot has changed. The 2021 bucks are a whole lot different than the 2019 bucks. How so? How do we know that before they even played a game? Well, to say the least, they're certainly bringing some confidence into the new season. We're going to be in your face. We're going to come at you. You know, we're not going to say too much, but we're just going to get to get to work. That's all it is. Both sides of the ball. We got some dogs on both sides. That's all it's all going to be about. Just working hard, getting to it. A lot of high impact, a lot of scoring, a lot of dancing, a lot of having fun. We're definitely going to get the crowd involved. Definitely, especially myself. Like, definitely, I'm definitely big on uh, fan involvement, fan engagement. Oh, we go lock everything down. We should never all the run down all the game because the Bucks going to take it this year. The conflict comes from us playing with each other. We've been learning each other together. We've been practicing late. We've been uh, in the classroom late. We know we're helping each other out. We all communicate with each other. We love each other. Once we get running right and once everybody knows exactly what they're doing all the time, it's going to be explosive and we're going to be pretty dangerous, I think. Now, some of that extra swagger for the Bucks may come from the fact that they've made history before they even have taken their first snap this season. Rather than staying here in Bismarck, the Bucks opted to have the first ever off-site IFL training camp. They took the 135-mile journey to Watford City, and he's still here in North Dakota, and decided to hold their training camp in the Rough Riders Center. Now, they did essentially everything together for training camp for about two weeks, everything from eating to competing, everything in between, really. And the Bucks think it's already paid dividends. It's definitely helped as far as chem chemistry-wise with the team. Um, guys are hanging out more with like the team. We don't really have anywhere else to go, so everyone's out in the hotel lobby or we're walking the subway or we're walking together, so it's kind of like a team bonding situation. Oh, man, it's awesome. You know, you got everything you need pretty much under one roof. You got a pool, you got a hot tub, you got your training room, you got a weight room that's beautiful. Awesome uh, facility right here with the turf and stuff, so you can't beat it, man. This beautiful Rough Riders Center is just beautiful. It's excellent. It's wonderful. It's a great atmosphere. You can do, do a lot of good stuff. The locker rooms are nice. We got in the pool yesterday. It was fun. I felt like I was five years old again going down the water slide and all that good stuff. It's been well just because we don't have nothing else to focus on but each other. Come to practice, go to meetings, and then do it all over again. No distractions, no one here, just us football players. As we've already touched on, most of the IFL never even got a chance to hit the field in 2020 due to the COVID-19 pandemic. And even the start of the new season was pushed back a little bit as well. But the Bucks and the rest of the IFL are excited to finally be back on the field. We've been waiting. It feels like it's been forever since we've been out here getting to grind together. But uh, 
everybody's super excited to get the chance to go out there and show what we got. It's great that we're back here. Um, it's almost back like we never left. We played one game. A lot of us are new to indoor football, and so we get to come back and actually have a full season and get going and stuff. It's going to be fun. I just want to play more than one game this year. It's exciting to have, you know, look forward to it. All we can do is take day by day, game by game. I know everybody across the league is excited, but I know for sure this team is very, very excited. With the guys we got here, what we've been putting together here over this training camp, this is going to be a very, very exciting season for everybody and especially for this team. The Bucks are excited to be back, and we are thrilled to have them back. This Friday, they open up at Green Bay, and it is a full 16-game schedule on tap. Let's take a look at the big picture this season for the Bucks and what's coming up. Full look at the schedule, kicking off the entire IFL season this Friday at Green Bay. And then not everybody loves it, but you don't get to choose your schedule. The Bucks will get a bye in week two of the season. After that... On Saturday, May 8th, week three, they'll take on one of the IFL's three new teams in their home opener against the Massachusetts Pirates. That'll actually be the start of a three-game homestand. After that, they'll take on the Green Bay Blizzard once again, at this time at home, and then they'll round out that homestand against the North Arizona Wranglers. After that, they'll take the trip to Iowa to face the Barnstormers for the first time this season. Then they'll come back to the Bismarck Event Center, take on the Sioux Falls Storm, and then let's face the Barnstormers once again. For the second time in three games, you'll notice a pattern here. The Bucks will get familiar with more than a few teams, namely the Blizzard, the Pirates, and the Barnstormers. Coming up again, they'll go back to Green Bay for their third matchup with the Blizzard this season. Then they'll stay on the road to go to South Dakota to take on the Storm again. Then the Bucks will get a second bye. After that, it'll be Bismarck's first trip to Massachusetts, followed by a trip to Frisco to take on the Fighters in Texas. And then staying on the road, Tucson Sugar Skulls, their only matchup against Tucson this season. Their fourth and final time, they'll come back at the end of July to take on Green Bay. Saturday, August 7th, they'll take to the road to take on the Barnstormers once again, back home to take on Sioux Falls. And then to close out the regular season, it'll be the Duke City Gladiators. And outside of the Bucks the, in the blizzard, we've only got two other teams in action this week. The Massachusetts Pirates and the Louisville Extreme, two of the newest members of the IFL, will be playing their first game this Saturday. That game kicks off at 8.05. With that, it's time for us to take our first break, but don't go anywhere when we come back. We're going to sit down with Bucks head coach Rod Miller. We're talking all things training camp and looking forward to week one this Friday against the Blizzard. Don't go anywhere. Beck Communications is honored to be recently recognized with three Broadband Now awards. Beck Communications Cooperative was awarded in the categories of top internet speeds nationwide, top three fastest internet providers in North Dakota, and North Dakota's number one fastest fiber provider. It's only through the support of our members and customers that Beck Fiber delivers award-winning speeds and service. Thank you, Beck Communications Cooperative members and customers for your years of continued support. Trusting your digital life to faceless tech giants can be risky. Will they keep your family and business information truly safe from prying eyes? If you subscribe to local Beck Lightband Internet service, you already have Beck Cloud Backup. Beck Cloud Backup is the safest, most private cloud storage for all your family memories, schoolwork, and business documents. Call 701-475-2361 to start using your free space on Beck Cloud Backup today. Is your business phone system outdated and expensive to maintain? Most large VoIP companies leave you on hold or struggling through online support and training for your employees. With Beck Connect, you always have fast, friendly, local support. Familiar faces with the know-how to keep you connected. Take advantage of the newest technology and voice calling, video conferencing, and virtual meeting rooms. Beck Connect gives you all the features you need with no upfront investment and no obsolete hardware or software ever again. Simplify your communications. Choose local. Choose Beck Connect. At Beck Communications, we've been planning for your future. Over the past decade, we've placed nearly 200,000 miles of dedicated fiber optics in the ground. Enough fiber optic strands to circle the world eight times. Taking no shortcuts, we connected every home and business in our service area with dedicated fiber optics. It's your personal, unrestricted, unthrottled connection to the world. Best of all, this dedicated fiber means you do not share your connection. We call this intimate dedicated connection Beck Fiber. Welcome 
Welcome back to the Bucks Coaches Show, everybody. And it wouldn't be a coaches show without the man himself. We welcome to, into the studio head coach Rod Miller in his third year with the Bucks. Coach, thanks so much for joining us uh, today. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. One game last season right. before the pandemic hits. This season was pushed back. I mean, you guys must just be chomping at the bit right now. Where's the excitement level now that it's it's finally game week? You know, it seemed like it's been forever to get to this point. You know, with last season being shut down, and like I said, we got teased and played the one game, so that I think that made it even worse a little bit. But you know, it's a plus and minus to doing that. But you know, everybody's excited. We're excited and, and having finally getting ready to go and knock on wood nothing for six happens again to shut us down so you know we're, we're excited and ready to go the entire year has been such a roller coaster in and outside of the sports world what does it look like from inside the IFL you know it's the same process we got to be smart you know, we have protocols we have to go through with covert precautions and things like that because we still have to follow those precautions so you know we're just doing our part to be diligent that we can make sure that we're able to play that we can stay healthy best we can and you know, bring sports back. Everybody's excited to have sports back. I know I am, and I know some of the fans are. So we're just excited to get back to the game. You just got back a few days ago from a couple weeks at, in Watford City for training camp. You make your cuts. You go from 33 to 28. But aside from just who's on the roster, what do you think you learned about your team? You know, we have some good characters, and we have some good character guys. You know, being up there and being around each other for all that time, you really develop that kind of karate that you like to build. And I think that was probably one of the biggest things of us being up there in Wofford City is that we got a chance to build chemistry early. Uh, it's like being on the road, basically, you know. So that was good for us, and I think we learned a lot, and that should help us going to this weekend that it's not brand new. We just went through this situation about a week ago. You touched on all the team camaraderie and chemistry you were able to build. It was the first ever off-site training camp in IFL history. Right. First, why? Second, what other advantages did that give you? You know, the, the thought behind that is we want to try to make something, this team a statewide team, not just Bismarck. You know, and I said a statement before that, you know, North Dakota, no disrespect, is never going to have an NFL team or NBA team. Right. You know, but we are the highest level of indoor football. Besides the NFL and CFL, we're the second, third highest level of football. So I'm like, why can't we make this our NFL? So that was our thought process, and that's what we wanted to do, and that was our goal. So that's how Wofford City came into effect. And like I said, we want to make this a statewide team. We went to training camp for a couple days. It was it was competitive. It was intense. But you were there for the entire two weeks or so. Who really stood out to you that we should keep an eye on for this year? You know, I think on both sides of the ball, our main goal was to improve our line play. And I think our offensive line and our defensive line, we improved drastically. So I'm excited to see what they do because in any game, you know, you have to be able to protect your quarterback. And you got to be able to get to the opposing team's quarterback. So honestly, I'm very excited to see what our line does. Uh, we have some speedy receivers and we have some veteran DBs. So honestly, I'm excited to see what our whole team can do because, like I said, been off for that year. You kind of want to rebuild. Now we can see what our rebuild looks like. So I'm excited about every position, honestly. Your first game is just a couple days away. You're making the trip to Green Bay to play the Blizzard on Friday. They haven't played since 2019. How do you prepare for a team that hasn't seen the field in, in two years? You know, it's, you can, all you can do is golf the old stuff. And that, it makes it tough because, you know, they're going to rebuild just like we did. So, you know, we, we were forcing them. They got lucky because we played a game, so they got some kind of film. You know, so we haven't seen a film in two games. The last playing they had was their playoff game, you know, back in 19. So, you know, we're gonna, we've been watching that. We've been watching uh, the new offensive coordinator came from Tucson. So we've been watching some of the Tucson film as well. And, you know, all we can do is work on our fundamentals and doing the right things just based off of formations. And we got to go out and let the chips fall. But hopefully we're the better team come Saturday, excuse me, Friday. Based off of that, what do you think the Blizzard do well that you're going to try and come out and be prepared for Friday? We know they're always a well-coached team. You know, coach Robeson's a good coach. He was you know, uh, coach of the year in 19. So he has a very sound defense. So we expect their defense to be sound. Uh, offensively, you know, they're rebuilding. They're actually their new quarterback is going to be the quarterback that actually used to be the quarterback here for the Bucks back in 17 and 18. So, you know, we kind of got some film on him, what he can do as well. So, you know, they're going to come out. They're going to be competitive. Again, nobody's played football in a year. So everybody's excited to come out. So they're going to come out. They want to get a win at home, and we got to come out and be the spoiler of that. I want to go back to something you said a few minutes ago, trying to build the Bucks brand and spread throughout North Dakota. Going into this season as people are just starting to go out and trying to get back to normal, for someone who's never been to a Bucks game, why should they come this season? One is fast-paced and exciting. You know, you're going to see a lot of fast-paced and tense. You can watch it on TV, but TV doesn't do any justice. You have to be there in person to witness, you know, uphand, the, the thuds, the sounds that you get, you know, players flying all over the place, you know, fans, uh, players falling to the fans' laps on the sideline, got thrown back onto the field. So <laughs> those are the type of things that you get. But the main thing is just to come out and support the community. Everybody's been, you know, bottled up for so long. Come out and have a good time. 
you know, the, the vet communications and, and with Derek, we've done some good things and teaming with Sanford to give out, you know, free masks, the 20,000 masks to the kids in the community, which each kid that wears that mask can get into a game for free. So, you know, every home game for free, excuse me. So we want to get the community involved, you know, and, and we get the kids in and like I said, the parents will follow because the kids come because kids can't come by themselves. So we want to bring everybody in. So I think everybody will come have a good time. You come once, you'll be a fan, I promise. That's fantastic. And hopefully you pick up some new fans this yeah. season. Coach, can't let you go without introducing our coach's code word segment. Each week, coach is going to be giving us a new code word. You can follow the Bucks on Instagram and Facebook. They'll post that word to their stories. Well, actually, you'll have to guess the word and post it. And uh, maybe you'll get some Bucks swag out of it. So, coach, what is the word this week? I think the word for this week is competition. And for us, that's the key word because we've been competing against ourselves in training camp. Now, game one is this week, this Friday. Now we got some competition, fresh competition to see what we can do to compete against somebody else. So I work for the week as competition because we got to step up and be ready to go for this competition this weekend. Competition is the word of the week for the Bismarck Bucks. They're open to this Friday, April 23rd against the Green Bay Blizzard. Coach, thanks so much for joining us. Thank we're going to take a short break. When we come back, we're going to learn a little bit more about the Bucks' newest offensive coordinator, Corey Ross. At Beck Communications, we've been planning for your future. Over the past decade, we've placed nearly 200,000 miles of dedicated fiber optics in the ground. Enough fiber optic strands to circle the world eight times. Taking no shortcuts, we connected every home and business in our service area with dedicated fiber optics. It's your personal, unrestricted, unthrottled connection to the world. Best of all, this dedicated fiber means you do not share your connection. We call this intimate, dedicated connection Beck Fiber. Trusting your digital life to faceless tech giants can be risky. Will they keep your family and business information truly safe from prying eyes? If you subscribe to local Beck Lightband Internet service, you already have Beck Cloud Backup. Beck Cloud Backup is the safest, most private cloud storage for all your family memories, schoolwork, and business documents. Call 701-475-2361 to start using your free space on Beck Cloud Backup today. Welcome back to the show, everybody. The COVID-19 pandemic affected all of our lives in some way. Some of our jobs were affected greatly. Others changes were quite slight. After the Quad City Steam Wheelers of the IFL went dormant for the 2021 season, their head coach Corey Ross was left looking for a job and joined the Bucks as their newest offensive coordinator. But that does not even tell the half of Ross's full football journey. That's Corey Ross, number 40, the regular return man for the Ravens. With Long before Corey Ross was a veteran presence on the IFL sidelines, he was an undrafted free agent looking for a shot while trying not to get too starstruck along the way. Across the 20, across shock. The 20. That's your shocking moment. Your super fan moment was that time. Catching punts, getting ready for a playoff game. End up catching one. Fell into Peyton Manning running out. I saw the lights flashing, so I thought, okay, y'all looking at me. Turn around, boom, he touched my shoulder. So, oh, I'm sorry, Ross, my back. And I looked up, I looked up, and I said, oh, my God, that was Peyton Manning. And then here's another young tough back apparently on that depth chart in Baltimore. Corey Ross with a 32 yard score. Yes. Ravens Ross played 10 games over two seasons with the Ravens, but his football story didn't stop there. The former second team all Big 12 running back at Nebraska, better known as Pork Chop to Cornhusker fans, made stops in the UFL with Sacramento, CFL in Edmonton, and then made his way back to Nebraska in the American Professional Football League. That winding journey is what motivates Ross to help catapult the next generation to their goals. Boom, get around now. Boom. Every day at practice, I had to grind just to get there. Even when they were drafting new guys, I had to grind and be in front of the coaches and show them that I want to be here and, and they see that I work hard. That's what it's about here. You know, these guys are on a lower level. It's harder for these guys to make it only because they're looking at college kids. You know what I mean? So um, I love the fact that they're here still chasing the dream. And the, the hard workers, you'll, you'll find some of them down here and hopefully you can get, we can try to get them a shot and get them some opportunity. 
and it's that grind that quickly endeared him to his latest stop. Be careful with your hammy now. It's amazing because, you know, eventually I want to go, you know what I'm saying, upper levels in the NFL. So hearing him talk and just soaking in game and just seeing what I need to do in order to take my game to the next level is he really been helping me out with that. Coach Ross is an offensive mastermind. Like, he really knows a lot about his indoor offense. He just wants you to be great. You know, he he kind of eats off us. So if he if we don't perform, then he doesn't, you know, get where he wants to go either and be the level he wants to be. So it's a combined effort um, in that instance, and we just have to keep going and do what he says, and he just wants us to be great. He has a story to tell for guys on this level here that, hey, you don't have to be the number one guy when you come to a team. You just have to work hard, and you do that, everything else will take care of itself. Of course, while the team loves Coach Ross, they know old Porkchop had some game in his day, too. He was actually moving a little bit. Now, he did get chopped down that one time, but he was moving. He was making a little bit of something. He was nervous. You could tell in his face he was definitely nervous. I mean, he put on some weight, but <laughs> he, uh, he had some shake to him for sure. <laughs> From Nebraska to Baltimore to Bismarck, and more than a few stops in between, Bucks fans are hoping Ross has found a place he can call home for a long time. Right behind you. Ross told us his offensive philosophy is simple touchdown to check down. We can't wait to see what Ross's offense has in store. Hopefully a whole lot of points this season at the Bismarck Event Center. We're going to take a short break, but when we come back, we'll introduce a new segment that I'm sure Coach Ross would love, or at least the title of it. Hurry up offense. We'll get to know a little bit more about the Bucks coaching staff. Don't go away. Beck Communications is honored to be recently recognized with three Broadband Now awards. Beck Communications Cooperative was awarded in the categories of top internet speeds nationwide, top three fastest internet providers in North Dakota, and North Dakota's number one fastest fiber provider. It's only through the support of our members and customers that Beck Fiber delivers award-winning speeds and service. Thank you, Beck Communications Cooperative members and customers for your years of continued support. Trusting your digital life to faceless tech giants can be risky. Will they keep your family and business information truly safe from prying eyes? If you subscribe to local Beck Lightband Internet service, you already have Beck Cloud Backup. Beck Cloud Backup is the safest, most private cloud storage for all your family memories, schoolwork, and business documents. Call 701-475-2361 to start using your free space on Beck Cloud Backup today. Is your business phone system outdated and expensive to maintain? Most large VoIP companies leave you on hold or struggling through online support and training for your employees. With Beck Connect, you always have fast, friendly, local support. Familiar faces with the know-how to keep you connected. Take advantage of the newest technology and voice calling, video conferencing, and virtual meeting rooms. Beck Connect gives you all the features you need with no upfront investment and no obsolete hardware or software ever again. Simplify your communications. Choose local. Choose Beck Connect. At Beck Communications, we've been planning for your future. Over the past decade, we've placed nearly 200,000 miles of dedicated fiber optics in the ground. Enough fiber optic strands to circle the world eight times. Taking no shortcuts, we connected every home and business in our service area with dedicated fiber optics. It's your personal, unrestricted, unthrottled connection to the world. Best of all, this dedicated fiber means you do not share your connection. We call this intimate dedicated connection Beck Fiber. Welcome back to another Hurry Up Offense. Today we're getting to know defensive back and special teams coach Chris Hemphill. Coach, we're going to fire some rapid fire questions your way. Gotcha. See how fast you can answer them. As many as we can get in by the time we get to the other end zone. Think you can handle that? Of course. All right, let's start chatting. First off, tough one, favorite ice cream flavor. Oh, that's easy. Strawberry cheesecake. Strawberry cheesecake. Strawberry oh, cheesecake. Yeah. That's my go-to. Hometown? Huh? Watts. Watts, where's that at? That's Los Angeles, California. It's, Los a, Angeles. it's a sub city. It's right next to Compton. So how, how is Los Angeles compared to North Dakota? A little bit warmer. Way warmer. I mean, it's snowing outside right now. I don't, LA don't see snow ever, you know, so definitely. Favorite <laughs> IFL city to visit other than Bismarck? Ooh, whatever city we go on to beat up on their team, that's going to be my favorite. I like the competitive fire. Yeah. The career you would be in if you weren't in football. I'll definitely be a movie star. A movie star? Oh, well, yeah. This, this kind of goes into one of my next questions. 
Who would, when they make the movie about your life, who is going to play you? Are you going to cast yourself? Uh, if I can't cast myself, I'll definitely go with uh, Will Smith. You Will know, Smith. one of my favorite actors. Can I get a little, bit, a little bit of the Will Smith, like, uh, you know, impression? What you got for me? In West Philadelphia, born and raised on the playground. That was, that was pretty good. I think you might yeah. have a, uh, you know, run for the money on the Independence Day reboot. Hey, definitely. Favorite superhero. Uh, let's go Black Panther. Yeah. Black Panther? R.I.P., man. Got Chad Bozeman. Abs yep. Absolutely. Uh, and last but certainly not least, what's your favorite part about coaching in the IFL? Uh, definitely getting the pass on the knowledge that I've uh, accrued over the many years of me playing football. Um, being around guys in the locker room is, is moments you'll never forget, you know. So I just love passing on my knowledge to the next generation and, and seeing it flow through them. This has been another great segment of Hurry Up Offense, defensive back and special teams coach Chris Hemphill. A big thanks to Coach Hemphill and his dance moves for helping us out on our very first Hurry Up Offense. We're going to get to know a new player or a coach each and every week. If you have a suggestion, a question you'd like to be asked, someone you want to see and learn a little bit more about, hit us up at Beck Sports on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and let us know who you'd like to see in the future. Going hand in hand with that, before we go, a few quick reminders. You're going to want to follow the Bucks on social media all season long. We're going to show you all of their social media handles, how you can follow them, keep up to date on Bucks content, and learn a little bit more about how you can win some prizes as well. It'll be at Bismarck Bucks on Twitter and Instagram as well as Facebook. And you can also learn about the coach's code word that we talked about during our coach's interview with Rod Miller. This week, the code word is competition. So they're going to be posting that to their Instagram and their Facebook stories. Uh, and if you tune in every week, you'll go to those stories. You'll find out how you can win some cool Bucks swag each and every single week. Take a look right here, Facebook, uh, on Facebook, be beg your pardon, Bismarck Mark Bucks Football, at Bismarck Bucks on Twitter, at Bismarck underscore Bucks on Instagram. Keyword this week is competition. Make sure you take note of that if you want a chance to win some cool Bucks swag. We're going to be doing that each and every single week, the book Coach's Code Word Challenge. Every Wednesday, tune in here, 7 p.m. Central for the show. Don't forget the home opener for the Bucks is right around the corner. First game this week, April 23rd, then against Green, against Green Bay, then a early week to buy, and then following that, the Bucks will be back home for the first time in 2021. I know everybody cannot wait. They'll be playing one of the IFL's newest teams, the Massachusetts Pirates. That's going to be it for this week. Thank you so much for joining us for our first ever Bismarck Bucks Coaches Show. Thanks to everybody who helped put this together. All that great and helpful people at the Bismarck Bucks, head coach Rod Miller, uh, Destiny Brown, going on down the list, and our wonderful production crew here at Beck Sports. We'll be back here same time, same place next week. Until then, have a safe night, everybody, and we'll see you next week. Hey Bucks fans, if you're planning an outing, birthday, or employee appreciation night, then bring your group out to the Buck Stop for a night of fast-paced, high-scoring football. Your group will receive discounted tickets, options for reserved seating, scoreboard messages, VIP services, swag, and a space to gather during the game. You can also participate in pre-game ceremonies, halftime entertainment, in-game contests, and more. Call 701-595-0771 or visit bismarckbucks.com forward slash tickets. All GA is first come, first serve. We'll see you on the turf. Go Bucks! Indoor football is back in Bismarck. Bucks football season is right around the corner. Grab a friend or family member for a night of action-packed, hard-hitting entertainment. The Bucks open at the Bismarck Event Center May 8th as they take on the Massachusetts Pirates. Catch the sweetest seats in the house right on the sidelines with VIP service at a Bucks turf table. Available now for single game purchases. Secure your tickets today by calling 701-595-0771. Bucks football, half the field and double the fun. Is your business phone system outdated and expensive to maintain? Most large VoIP companies leave you on hold or struggling through online support and training for your employees. With Beck Connect, you always have fast, friendly, local support. Familiar faces with the know-how to keep you connected. Take advantage of the newest technology in voice calling, video conferencing, and virtual meeting rooms. Beck Connect gives you all the features you need with no upfront investment and no obsolete hardware or software ever again. Simplify your communications. Choose local.
Choose Beck Connect. Indoor football is back at the event center of the Bismarck Buck season is right around the corner. The team will be fueled and ready to compete on game days thanks to our 2021 food sponsors. Dine with any of our supporting partners and get a free box ticket to any home game in the 2021 season. Great food and free football. Tickets are first come, first serve, so get yours now. Call 701 5 one in Powers Lake, meaning they won the region championship and went to state in 2019, just two years ago. But before that, it had been 79 years since they had been to state. Look out!